How long do we keep driving? We may not find them. They could be too far ahead of us. We won't give up. We're going to find them, Clem. We can't think otherwise. They must have gone this way. Hopefully the roadkill will lead us right to them. Hopefully. I gotta dry my eyes. Fuck. My eyes sting so much, to be honest. Oh god, I need to do quick time events. <laughs> Literally just got a paper towel. So I can, like, wipe my eyes. Holy shit. <sighs> Alright. Alright, I'm good. I should be. This Nose is a little stuffy, but that's fine. Good shooting text. No quick time? Here, he missed. Wait, 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 what happened? What happened? What happened? Oh my god, am I gonna lose another kid? My glasses are fogged. <laughs> oh, it's hard for me to see the screen. I hate it. Ooh, yeah. No, no. Yeah, oh, my ear. Like, for real, my ear. <laughs> that hurts. Hang on, Gabe! Oh, out of ammo. Great. Batter up. We got this. I mean, it's gonna be simple if it's just this. For quick time events. That's right. You focus on me. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Down. Oh, God. Jeez. Down we go. Come on. More to go, more to go. X. Yikes. I'd say that's a home run. I'll help you. I'm sorry. I'm here, Gabe. I got you. Okay. Okay. Hey. I'll cover you. What happened to Gabe? Are you okay? Or are you bitten? No, they, they didn't get me. Oh, thank God. I, I, I'm fine. It just... It, it hurts. What happened? I tried to stop him, Javi. That's why we crashed. You came after me, Javi. After everything I've done. What are you talking about? I was always arguing, always making life harder. And I was a bad son. I wouldn't have come after me. Mm. Hey, knock that off, buddy. You're a great son. I don't feel like one. Don't worry. It's not up to you to decide. I I'm gonna be better from now on. I swear. Gabe, are you okay? Yeah, thanks to you guys. Figured we were done, brother. You have to take care of each other. That's what Pa said to me once. Yeah. Told me the same thing. I wonder what he'd say to me now. 
I wonder that a lot, actually. I'm sure you do too. <laughs> He'd break your balls. Let's keep it lighthearted a little bit. He'd say you fucked up. Big time. Okay, never mind. He'd call you pendejo. And then he'd ask if you wanted to play dominoes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You're right. That's exactly what he'd do. I wouldn't deserve to play that game with him, though. With either of you. I can't change, Javi. I want to, but... We're in a war that's never gonna end. I was kidding myself. We're... Never going home. That hope died the same day we all drove away. Same day Pa died. That's the last lesson he taught me. I had to teach it to my son, too. Someone had to. Finally. We have each other. We are still your family, David. There's hope here. And there will always be hope here, brother. I'll take clarity over hope any day. We're going back to Richmond. We have to help Kate. I can't face Kate, Javi. I can't see that different look in her eyes. Or yours. I can't. It's too much. Too much for anyone to handle. Come on. You should come back with us. Thanks. But too much has changed, Javi. That doesn't matter. Maybe it doesn't matter to you. Legacy, David. It's all anyone leaves behind. Figure out the kind you want. the kingdom oh <laughs> badass well there's a happy side is that jesus let's get inside we gotta find tree. so it has to be kingdom if jesus. that's jesus a man am i glad to see you looking a little bit different though once i got in contact with my people i headed right back had to make sure you folks were safe can you help us get the gate open Never see Jesus like on the back of a horse in like the uh, the AMC series. Not that I can recall, anyways. You gotta boost me up, Gabe. Can hurry up, guys. Can he? All right. Or he could freeze for a moment. That's always cool. I'll have it open in a second. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm probably gonna get shot in the arm or something. Just have open gate button. I think it's because of like some of his like witty responses. Like some of them seem kind of obvious. They're just kind of like, uh, you know. And that's what reminds me of Bob from uh from reboot. God, I don't know what to push. Left, right, backward, forward. Forward, backward, reverse, reverse? I don't know what those say. I want to say this big red button. Nope, that wasn't it. It was an accident. Uh, this? Okay, never pull that lever again, Javier. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. This one. Green butt? Of course, why would it be the obvious one of green? You know, green means good. Red means bad. Who knows what blue and orange mean? Kate? Kate, where are you? Help me look. Of course. Kate! Kate! Where are you? Kate! Kate, please! Kate! Call out to me! Looks like she's-
She's got the whole covered. That Joan has her. Oh no. no. She's got to be around here somewhere. Hobby. I knew something was going to happen towards the end. I just didn't know what. <laughs> playing Javi didn't really make sense with his whole like denial of liking Kate. Whoopsie. What, what happened? She's, she's gone. What? N no. No! Kate, no! She wanted to see So she was one? like a stepmother or something. She did. I hope it was worth it. Are we all alone now? I guess we'll see. Okay. A lot of Polaroid pictures, it's cool. Uh, it's not in this sense. Just that, you know, they got a Polaroid camera and can take pictures. That's what I meant by that. These are people that they lost. Is that Trip? That looks like Trip. Oh yeah, and there's Conrad and Francine, I think. I'm trying to see who else is on here. I've seen that picture before, this one up here. That was in like one of the, uh, I think it's maybe 300 days later I saw that picture. May you rest in peace, alright. Done looking at the pictures. Wait. Our love is forever, we will be together again, forever in our hearts, be strong. We miss you very much, you will forever, you will be forever in our hearts. Okay, okay, place photo. Where did they get these pictures? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Never saw evidence of a Polaroid camera like being used, so. Maybe you should have stayed with her instead of going after me. Okay. Maybe she'd be okay. I'm sorry. Maybe you wouldn't be. I was such an asshole to her. All the time. I'm sorry, Kate. We're all assholes. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Who isn't an asshole nowadays? It's not a nice world. Why should you be any different? I just wish I could have apologized in person. Fair. Ever since you saved us and we all came back to Richmond, my dad won't talk to me. Not after... what happened. And he won't talk to me either. But I think I know why. I'm surprised, though. Why won't he talk to you? 
I tried to stop him, Javi. That's why we hit the Muertos. I thought that if we just went back, I thought I could save him. I thought I had to. Someone has to. I mean, you did save him. What are you talking about, Gabe? By stopping him from driving away? You did save him. Thanks, Javi. It's all that's left of them. Pieces of paper looking back at us, but never seeing us. What the hell are we supposed to do with that? What do we do with any of this? We honor them. Tell stories about them. Laugh at the jokes they used to tell. Keep living. Keep loving. Keep them in our hearts. Can you do that? Yeah. I can. reading a book and yet death was not something you could ignore it had its weight it seemed to her she had better not form the practice of ignoring death if she tried it death would find a way to answer back uh -huh. it would take another of her loved ones to remind her to respect it what's that you're reading Respected? Oh, some old book Francine always tried to get me to read cowboys and shit like that Told her it wasn't my style. And yet she would you're insist now though. reading it. <laughs> and I'd insist right back otherwise. <laughs> you read it? I could use a good book. You mind if I borrow it when you're done? Only if you use a bookmark. Can't stand dog ears. Hmm. I feel you, man. I don't like dog ears either, so usually I try to either use a bookmark or remember what page I was on. Usually the ladder doesn't work that well if I put the book down long enough. Wasn't your Head horse now? black? Yes, indeed. We came here to put an end to the raiding. Looks like that's been done. Glad we got it settled. Gotta move on. <laughs> I like you, Jesus. I gotta admit, man. You're a fucking badass. You're a real charmer. <laughs> oh. You know that? Through and through. Uh... <laughs> Okay. No, oh, you know what they say. Takes one to know one. That they do. Dang, son. I might have to get a room. Like you, Javi. Someone genuinely good. It was my pleasure. Second chances are in short supply these days. That's what this place can be if you let that horse is it. leaning Trust me, though, too much. Life within walls is a hell of a lot different than life on the road. Don't take shortcuts like Joan. You got to do the right thing. Always. Good days, and especially bad. If I stay... I don't know if I'm gonna stick around. Richmond and I have had... issues. Understandable. But if you do, after dust settles, people start looking around. They may look at you for what to do. Maybe. I read people pretty well. Little gift of mine. You're a capable guy, Javi. Change is in the air here. You can lead that change, and I think you should. For the better. God knows this town could use it. Yeah, sure. I'll step up. You know what? I'm gonna step up. Lead this place in the right direction. Then as far as I'm concerned, Richmond's in much better hands than it was. Hey, uh, Jesus? I think Kate died protecting hey, the town. Hey, uh, Gabe. Thanks for, you know, not letting me get killed. And for coming back to help us. Yeah. Thanks for that, man. Pay it forward. Be vigilant. Trouble never stays too far away. I think the one thing <laughs> the one thing that bothers me is just like Um, I rewatched The Walking Dead recently to get prepared for the new season coming up. And it's just You're like alive. there's differences in me. 
you know, the voices, obviously. I'm not gonna say thank you obviously. for keeping me alive, but I'm gonna try and find something out there that might make me say thank you someday. Oh, so where's AJ? I'm sober. Somber. Tell Don't me. get somber. Just get sober. Where? Do it for Clementine. You know Clem won't rest until she finds AJ. Where is he? Please, man. For her sake. He's in McCarroll Ranch. It's not too far from here. That's that's where we left him, at least. So now I have two parts. Are we gonna be good luck out there traveling doctor. to find AJ, or is that gonna be something that's like in a new Telltale Walking You're Dead season? Too, huh? Cause yeah. like it's time. I have to find AJ Javi. Like I don't know I've if I'll be excited so to like play a new Walking like, Dead could season. You do me one last favor before I leave. What's that, Clem? Shit! I just realized I got the uh, fifth achievement, which says second chance. Oh no! I used to do this for my niece. That's nice of you. Oh, she thought it was terrible. Her hair. Were you? Not your business. I'm really gonna miss Gabe. I mean, he's super annoying sometimes, but I've gotten used to having him around. At least to have someone to talk to. <laughs> he is a total dork. He's got a crush on you, Clem. Not that he said anything to me in particular, but you know the guy's got a mondo crush on you, right? He does not. Oh my gosh, you have a crush on him too. I do not. <laughs> you both have my blessing. I'm gonna stab you with those scissors. I have to see AJ Javi. I have to see that he's okay. I understand. Do you think he remembers me? At least a little? Maybe? Who could forget you? Who could forget you, Clem? No one who knew you, I guarantee it. Yeah, maybe. Everyone told us he was better off. After everything that's happened, I'm starting to think they're right. I don't think that way. I don't know if I was a good mom or not. I can't stop thinking about it. I mean, I really wish I could. You did your best, and he it's survived not about that good long. Or not good. You kept him alive. Yeah. You did your job. Until someone else had to do it for me. Gabe told me you used to play baseball. Yeah. I did. I loved it. He told me you fucked it all up, too. Yeah. Yep. Sure did. Well, you survived. I had to. But you loved it. How do you survive that? How? If you really loved it, how? I'm gonna go with a... That's what's good about a broken heart. When you're looking at it all broken and shattered on the floor, you figure out the pieces you need versus the ones you liked. If you're ready to move on, that is. If. Damn, that's a... <laughs> that was a really good, like, metaphor. All done. To really, like, look back on. Well, how's it look? You know what? I'll grab your hat. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this team. Your dad ever teach you about baseball? No, not really. Well, you come back, and I'll tell you all about it. It's a deal. If I bring AJ back with me, will you teach him too? Of course. You bet. He belongs with you, Clementine. Bring him back.
So now what? Are we playing as Clementine for a short bit or what? I still have like one more little like chapter thing to go for my last achievement. Got some new duds. So it is Javier, like the new de facto leader of Richmond. I part was never really clear, to be honest. So what are we doing now? I wanna know. Oh no, that was it. Oh, that was too short between your experience with David was was dysfunctional. You refused David's hand after he punched you on the night your father died. Yeah. You supported David's plan to meet him at his house in Richmond. In his time of need, you distanced yourself from David. You asked David to come back to Richmond, and he did. Yikes. Your experience with Kate was distant. You were relieved to see Kate alive in the junkyard. You rejected Kate's plan to leave Richmond. Wait, why are they kissing in there? I didn't, there's nothing. Ending things once and for all, you reject Kate. Kate died uh, saving Richmond, not wanting her to suffer the fate of being a muerto. You shot her. Yeah, I, what's with that picture on the, uh, on the right there? This is a really nice song, by the way. I like it. Your experience with Gabe was devoted. Yes, because he is a kid. I had to, you know, protect him. His uncle. You made Gabe happy by agreeing to stay in the trailer for the night. You told Gabe the truth about his neighborhood friend. After David drove away with Gabe, you went after your nephew. You encouraged Gabe to honor the memories of those he lost. Okay. Your new frontier story, Trip. You reassured Trip by promising you wouldn't cause trouble in Prescott. Then you went to the junkyard with Trip. In the end, Trip saved your life on the overpass despite you not choosing him to be saved. <laughs> yeah. Eleanor, you left Eleanor at Prescott when you went to the junkyard, then Eleanor leaked your plan to incite resistance against Joan. Ultimately, you did not forgive Eleanor for her betrayal. Your new frontier story, Ava. Clementine took Ava up on her offer to meet and join the new frontier. Then Ava helped you get into the armory because you showed solidarity. Solidarity, sorry, with David. Finally, you picked Ava to live, but Joan shot her to teach you a lesson. Lingard. Clementine ignored Lingard's medical advice regarding AJ. Then you refused to give Lingard a lethal injection. After the chaos, Lingard told you where AJ is located. Conrad. You abstained from gambling in Conrad's poker game. In the end, Conrad wouldn't have made it without you. Also, you asked to borrow Conrad's book. Yes, I did. Jesus, when you met him, you trusted Jesus and didn't find his hands. When you told Jesus you'd do whatever it takes to survive, uh, disappointing him. Lastly, you promised Jesus you would help Richmond. Joan, question mark, oh, she might be in the next episode, which is what this feels like it's going to be leading into. Uh, season, god, why do I keep calling? <laughs> getting so confused, like, even when I was first uploading, I called them chapters. Uh, let's see, you told Joan the new frontier was to blame for Mariana's death. You brought Max to expose Joan to the Richmond Council. Currently, Joan's whereabouts are unknown. Unfortunate, but true. Clint, dead. Clint kicked you out of Richmond for murdering Rufus. Then you took Clint Steele and spared Joan's life. Finally, David shot Clint on stage after you agreed to Clint Steele. Did you stand with David on the ledge? You and 92% of players stepped up to help David. That... I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I figured more people would have, like, declined the offer, but I decided to do it because I was doing it to, like, kind of support my brother and be there for him. What did you say to David about- oh. Was there actually a kiss? I actually don't remember. Oh. I- I legitimately don't remember. You and 50%- 15%- 15 15.9%- Jesus Christ, I can't read numbers. A player's denied having a relationship with Kate, but David didn't believe you. 53.6% of players confessed your love for Kate. 28.3% of players came clean about your relationship with Kate. 
62.2% of players said nothing. Did you fight David back? You and 63.5% of players showed your love for David, even as he took his anger out on you. Wow. Did you go after Gabe or with Kate? You and 35.9% of players went after Gabe. Minority of that. Did Clementine come along with you? After the fight with David, Clementine teamed up with you and 46.7% of players. Your Clementine became a reformed loner. Clementine and AJ traveled solo through the dangerous territory, fighting off walkers and barely surviving. In her short time with the New Frontier, Clem showed hope and grace, trusting in others but looking out for AJ first and foremost. When Javi and David fought at the Water Tower, Clem re remembered a similar fight long ago at a snow-covered rest stop. She took a carefully placed shot to stop David's violence without killing him. So that must have been like Jane and Kenny. And in the end, I really hated Jane after that and I didn't realize that I could have saved Kenny by like intervening and I didn't know what to do at the time. Once David left in the truck with Gabe, Clem honored her commitment to those loyal to her, choosing to follow her friend Javier's lead. I keep wanting to say Javier, and it's fucking me up. So, um, that's it for The Walking Dead and New Frontier. I guess I'm waiting now for, like, a, uh, a fourth installment to all of this, um, following Clementine again and seeing where that path leads us because it seems like Clementine's story is going to be far from over which is exciting. I like I like seeing her grow up throughout all these seasons with Lee and then uh, whoever it was in season two. I, like, I forget some of the names because um, some of the characters just weren't exactly they didn't really stand out to me all that much. There's Luke. I remember Luke because he was one of the characters I actually liked. And of course, Kenny came back in season two. And then there's this with Javier. I think Javier is going to be a little more consistent in my mind because he didn't really go anywhere and a lot of the focus was on him. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what Telltale announces. Uh, I'll probably look into it after this. But anyways... No matter who you are, wherever you are, I hope you're having a wonderful day, wonderful week, wonderful whatever it is. Thanks for seeing A New Frontier to the end with me, and uh, I will catch you in the next game I end up playing. Bye! Jay.